It's the dead of winter here in Pennsylvania, and I'm on the hunt for one of the most nutrient-packed foods on the planet. The earth is frozen, daylight is short, not good conditions for growing any vegetable, but I found a place where this one grows year-round, so I'm dying to find out. Spinach, how does it grow? This is Bright Farms, literally the size of a football field. This greenhouse pumps out 75,000 pounds of spinach a year. But here's the coolest part. They don't grow spinach in soil, they grow it in water. This kind of growing is called hydroponics. Hydro means water, ponics means work. In hydroponics, plants are grown in nutrient-enriched water that gets reused. With record droughts and rising demand for local foods, hydroponics could be the future of farming. Although really, hydroponics is thousands of years old. The ancient Egyptians farmed on rafts along the Nile, and the Aztecs on lakes. In the 13th century, Marco Polo marveled at the floating gardens in China. Here at Bright Farms, their spinach floats on boards over ponds filled with well water. These boards have small slits for roots to dangle through. Head farmer Jason Jackson basically plays the role of God. With a click of the mouse, he controls the heat, the moisture, the daylight, all the conditions that conventional farmers can't control. What's trickier here is perfecting the mix of nutrients he gives the plants. Without soil, there's no buffer between the delicate roots and the potent fertilizer. Uh, if I don't get it quite right, I could potentially burn the plants, at which point we'd have to drain a pond, and to date, I have not had to drain a pond. Have you killed any plants? I have not killed any plants, okay. no. Okay, but wait, there are, there's 40,000 gallons of water in that pond. Yep. And hydroponics is supposed to conserve water. How does that work? We actually use 80% less water than outdoor conventional ag, and we do so by recirculating the water in the ponds themselves. Not all hydroponic farms recirculate their water. Some think nothing about draining the ponds, since it's always easier to start with fresh water. But Jason likes to nurture the pond's ecosystem, so when it comes to spinach, he enlists lettuce because it helps fight spinach's worst enemy, a fungus called pythium that can wipe out a whole crop overnight. Growing spinach hydroponically is basically a race between spinach and pythium. Pythium spreads by little spores that swim. Swimming is not so easy in the soil, but here in the pond, it's pythium heaven. Because lettuce is stronger against pythium, it helps keep the pythium population down which means Jason can avoid using killer chemicals like fungicides. After 14 days on the water, the leaves are still small and tender and ready to be harvested as baby spinach. One by one, each raft goes through the cutting machine. And then it's on to packaging. Bright Farms harvests, packages, and ships its spinach to stores within 24 hours. Calorie for calorie, spinach packs more nutrients than almost any other vegetable. It's one of the best for vitamin K, which helps keep bones healthy. Now, I love baby spinach in a salad, but if you're cooking with spinach, you can use frozen spinach. It's just as nutritious and probably easier to find. I've squeezed out the water from a package of thawed spinach, and we're going to turn this into cheesy spinach bites. Or as my producer prefers to call them, extra special, extra super, special delicious, super delicious cheesy, cheesy bites. bites.
great as a party appetizer, as an after school snack. You can even throw some in a bowl of chicken soup. But it's really important to remember after eating any spinach dish that you just might have a little something in your teeth.